I'm NaxPreps.com. I'm Jake Downey reporting. And it's a sunny, breezy day on the west side of Los Angeles, Brentwood to be exact, where Archer School for Girls rolls out the welcome mat for Burbank Providence. These two teams are at the top of the Liberty League. Archer is 7-0, Providence is 6-1. This is the final game of the year. And yes, if you've been paying attention, you realize that if Providence wins, it's a share of the league title for both schools. If Archer wins, they take the Liberty outright. At the coaches' meeting at home plate, the nice to meet you's include a brief discussion of the ground rules at Archer, and then it's time to play softball. Top one, Providence with first and third. That's about the time that Archer pitcher Cameron Bellamy snuffs out the threat. She winds and delivers strike three called, and Archer runs off the field after posting a zero in the top of the first. Bottom one, Archer works the safety squeeze to perfection. Leanne and Solomon gets the bunt down, and it's a good one. That plates Allie Kylie from third with the first run of the game. Hey, Allie, grab Lee Aiden's bat while you're there. The home team leads one zip through two complete. Bottom three, freshman catcher Morgan Dennis steps in, and Morgan Dennis is no ordinary freshman. Morgan swings and sends it into the stratosphere. Not only does it clear the fence, it may clank off a nearby plane. The thunderbolt from Dennis gives her the Archer's single season home run record with seven. And yes, she's got three more years at Archer after this one. Oh, and it's 2-0 Archer. Third inning, Solomon up again, and she turns strike three into a run. The ball gets away, and on the throw down to first, Rachel Pike comes in from third, and she slides in under the tag. And it's 3-0 Archer at this point. In keeping with that pass ball theme, in the next inning, the ball gets away with Archer's Omari Benjamin on third. Omari come on down, and it's 4-0 Panthers still in the third. Later, Kylie at the dish, and she's going to smack one into the gap in right center. That's going to chase a run all the way around, but Providence with some good defense to get Kylie by a whisker at second. That negates the other run for Archer, so it's 6-0 home team through three. Bottom six, Archer with runners on and trying to end it early on the 10 run rule. Dennis fights off the pitch and pops it to right. It's going to drop for a hit and score Zoe Wolf with Archer's seventh tally of the day. They need three more. And they get two here. Pike swings and gets enough of it to drop it into short center. Bellamy and Kylie come on down, and these Panther Cats have nine runs. Then Solomon at the plate, Leaden trying to bring Dennis in from third and win it in walk-off 10-run fashion. And Solomon delivers here. The single to short right chases down Morgan from third. And that's the hit that ends it. The Panthers claim the Liberty League title outright. They go 8-0 in the league and win it 10-zip. And they head into the playoffs as a number one seed. It means a lot because um, this is what we've been working towards all season. This is what we've been trying to get. And I think we, we really didn't expect it. So this feels great to actually be the champions of the league. At the beginning of the year, we would have never had a game like this, you know, 10-0 against Providence, who um, we thought was like the best team in the league. And like we've proven ourselves to get better and we've come a long way since the first game. And I'm just, I'm just really proud to be a part of Archer Softball. Also part of Archer Softball the last four years, they're two seniors. Both are off to schools in the great state of Massachusetts. Going to Boston College is three-sport athlete Allie Kiley. And Wellesley College will get Sarah Bohm. Both are a tad wistful and trying to enjoy the final ride as Panthers. After four years of play with like some of the best people that I know, that I've finally reached a point where I can say I feel like I've found a family in sports more than I have in other sports. So I'm really glad to be a part of Archer's Softball. It feels kind of surreal to be leaving and be a senior, but it's been such a great experience, especially softball being the last sport. It's such a family on this team, and I think this year also, um, more so than previous years, it's been such a close team, and um, this season has been pretty amazing for us. We're pretty lucky. In Brentwood, I'm Jake Downey reporting for MaxPreps.com.